let us talk about derivatives of germ layers derivatives of germ layers here first it includes ectoderm what could be the derivatives of ectoderm first for this remember that it represents the outer structures absorbing body outer structures absorb in the body you can take it as a mnemonics also whatever you see from the outside of the body they all are in made up of ectoderm they are derived from the ectoderm so you can write here first you see skin you can write epidermis for the skin epidermis next what you can see there is you can see nose you can see eyes hairs nails now in the internal structures what you can observe here you can here in here also it includes ears also and in the internal structures what you can see here is mammary glands it includes brain so for brain you can write here cns which also include pns this much you can write in the derivatives of ectoderm now for the derivatives of let's talk about mesoderm what you can remember from mesoderm for mesoderm derivatives is muscles it's easier to understand muscles you can write all the muscles here skeletal muscle smooth muscles and for cardiac you can write heart now it also include here you can write muscles it include vessels vessels also included here so you can find it the rhyming rhyming like rhyming type of words so muscles vessels you can also find with the vessels it comes lymphatics also here it in also include reproductive system reproductive system you can write muscles skeletal muscles smooth muscles and cardiac for cardiac you can write heart it also it also include vessels lymphatics reproductive system and also include the urogenital system urogenital system reproductive system and urogenital system so for the mnemonics you can remember the muscles vessels and then you can remember lymphatic sorry reproductive system and urogenital system now for the last one that is endoderm for endoderm you can see the neck region parts of neck region neck region parts it's like a mnemonics you can remember for the endoderm neck region parts here for the ectoderm it is outer structure what we observe in the body outer structures that absorb in the body uh, and for mesoderm for it stands from it starts from m and also include muscles then endoderm endoderm for endoderm you can observe the neck region parts which include first of all you can see pharynx there is trachea you can also observe thyroid gland and along with thyroid you can also see parathyroid gland parathyroid gland you can also observe in the neck region tonsils here you can maximum here you can see maximum the words starts with the t if you can't remember this neck region then you can also write the words starting from the t parts of the neck region that starts from the t thymus is also included these all are the parts of the neck region along with the neck region you can write here digestive system is also derived from neck region and in digestive system what you can write here is you can write liver liver pancreas pancreas and also you can write here urinary bladder urinary bladder hope you find it easier to remember in the endoderm neck regions along with the neck regions you can write pharynx trachea thyroid gland parathyroid gland tonsils thymus maximum starts with the t in the neck region 
and next is with the P pharynx and parathyroid gland in the digestive system which include uh, liver pancreas urinary bladder thank you for watching